Sri Lanka will be without the services of former Captain Angelo Matthews for the first test against Pakistan starting in Abu Dhabi on September 28, after he sustained a calf strain during training on Tuesday. Matthews was not named in the 15-member squad for the Twotest series, and his participation in the second test beginning on October 6 at Dubai depends on him passing a fitness test and getting the OK from the physio. It is very unfortunate that Matthews had to suffer the injury. It happened when he was trying to help another teammate with the yo-yo test. He strained his right calf muscle which is the same he suffered in England last year, said Sri Lanka cricket manager Asanka Gurusinha. Matthews was not included in the test squad because we want to first assess his fitness. If he comes through the fitness test and gets the nod from the physio then we will consider him for the second test. He is a vital player and we want him fit for the one-day series as well as the important tour to India that follows, he said. Matthews has a history of leg injuries and in the past 12 months has suffered a torn hamstring during Sri Lanka's tour of South Africa in January and did not play international cricket until June. He also missed the tri in Zimbabwe last year due to multiple injuries in his legs. Matthews is a vital cog in the wobbly batting lineup being the most experienced of the batsmen with 69 test appearances and a test average of 45. In recent times he has kept himself away from bowling and only resumed during the recent Odi series against India. In the last series against Pakistan in the UAE in 201,314, Matthews was a cut above the rest scoring 413 runs at an average of 103. Meanwhile the new selection committee headed by former Sri Lanka fast bowler Graham Labrui picked three uncapped players for the test series against Pakistan, batsman Sadira Samarayakrama and Roshan Silva, and fast bowler Lahiru Gamic. Both have been heavy scorers in the domestic front and Gurusin has said that they deserve a break. We need to start exposing these players at some point, and this is a good opportunity for them. Samara Akrama, a wicketkeeper batsman, topped the Premier Tier A averages scoring 10 16 runs at 59.76 for Cold CC, and in February, scored 185 for Sri Lanka A in the unofficial test against England Lions that featured Toby Rollin Jones and Tom Curran, both called up for England in the current season. While this is Samara Akrama's first appearance into the national squad, Roshan Silva has been in the Sri Lanka test squad last year although not making it to the final 11. He also had an excellent domestic season in the Premier League scoring 614 runs average 55.81 for Ragama CC. Also back in the fray are two relatively experienced batsmen Lahiru Thiriman who has resumed the role of vice-captain to skipper Dinesh Chandamal and opener Kaushal Silva who was overlooked for the test site after the South African tour in January. Chandamal and Thiriman were given these positions a few years back but found the pressure too much to bear, and as a result their individual form suffered. Now they are more matured, and we need to groom them for the future, said Gurusinha. Missing from the lineup are one-day captain Apal Thuranga who has ruled himself out from test cricket for six months to concentrate on white ball cricket, and Asela Gunnarton and Kussel Pereira, both recovering from injuries. Veteran spinner Rangana Harath heads the spin department with Dilrewin Pereira and left arm wrist spinner Lakshan Sandakan, while Sarangal Akmal and Nuwin Pradeep who are both injured during the India series have recovered and make up the form and fast bowling squad with left armer Vishwa Fernando and Lahiru Gamage.